it was a little bit like Forrest Gump in the fact that I didn't plan a single day. Uh, so I, I just woke up, I got running. Uh, it, I had no support crew, so it was just me and, and a baby pram. And uh, yeah, you know, I slept rough. Like, you know, like I, I slept in toilets, ditches. Uh, but if I could get to a town, uh, people would always put me up. Sometimes I would knock on people's door just to say, look, any chance. And the Canadian hospitality is amazing. And so they'd often invite me in. I just fell into this adventure fundraising for me to try and give back to the hospitals that helped me out as a kid. And and it's just kind of, you know, snowboard. I've just continued continued on doing it. You know, I spent uh, most of my life uh, in hospital and I've got a condition called Schringomyelia. Um, and so symptoms as a kid, sometimes I couldn't feel my hands and immune deficiency. Um, sometimes I couldn't move my legs. And, and if it wasn't for the hospitals that helped me out as a kid, I might not be here. So this journey was about giving back to them. On New Year's Eve, I, I got beat up and I had my stuff taken. Um, luckily, I got everything back. Uh, and it was just the money taken that can be replaced. Um, you know, it was one huge negative incident. But what I would say is that it really doesn't outweigh you know, 10,000 amazing experiences across Canada. Um, and I think we need to keep the faith that, you know, that we live in an amazing world.